Hello, this is Jack Salon, and you are probably here because you're interested in knowing how to create items for the GURPS rule set in Fantasy Grounds. So I'm going to show you here how to do that, uh, specifically using GURPS Character Assistant. Uh, perhaps you came here from after watching the video on Fantasy Grounds GURPS Mod Maker. Uh, if you haven't seen the introduction for that, then it might be worth looking into because it kind of explains how to create items from scratch in there and how a lot of the fields kind of work. Uh, but uh, let me show you um, what we have here. So this is the GURPS Fantasy Grounds um, mod maker for GURPS. <clears throat> now, you may have noticed in the last video, you see this options GCA import. So if you have GURPS Character Assistant, uh, this is probably the easiest way to get items that you can use for drag and drop inside of Fantasy Grounds. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to minimize this for now. And I have GURPS Character Assistant <clears throat> already open. And basically this is just a brand new character. I click the little create new character and haven't done a thing. Now what you want to do is, let's say we're going to create uh, a weapon sh shop. So we're just going to say, let's, say uh, let's just call it a weapons shop. You can call it anything you want. It doesn't even really matter at this point. Go into the equipment and the easiest way <clears throat> to get what you might want is, in my opinion, go here under equipment and let's just say we're looking for swords. This guy is going to specialize in swords. So I type in sword and a bunch of those show up here. All right, so let's see. We're gonna <coughs> let's take some of these things, uh, and we're let's we're not gonna do a, anything too fancy. Sure, we'll take a great sword. We want this guy to also have a long sword, ring sword. Now nah, characters don't even know what that is, so we'll skip that one for now. Um, and let's give him some of these awesome big swords, these thrusting bastard swords, and a great sword. Good enough. Add that to the character. All right, so that flies into your character. And if you go into the viewing of those items, you can see what they do as GURPS Character Assistant is wonderful for doing that. However, you want to get this into a format that Fantasy Grounds can read. So we're going to say File and Export this. And check this box down here at the very bottom. It's just a straight XML file. OK. <clears throat> And it's already called a weapon shop. I'm going to throw it into the shops bucket just for me. Save it. And we're pretty much done with that. So now we go back to Fantasy Grounds uh, for GURPS Mod Maker. I can't even say my own title. <laughs> anyway, so now you say Options GCA Import. And you go find, uh, don't open that one. You want to go to the location where it actually is. So open the file location. And there it is. It's an XML file. We're taking it. Boom. <laughs> and you'll notice you had your raw data. This is the actual um, raw information. Now, if you were following the other video, you might have typed these things in manually, and you can do that too. So this allows you to do it either way. But here in the weapons items, you'll notice these are the converted over to being able to be used in Fantasy Grounds, these, these particular um, weapons. Sometimes you'll have items kick over into the rejected bucket. Uh, I've tried to get rid of that as much as possible, but if it happens, you can see what it is. And you can go back to the raw data, and maybe you can figure out why it's not falling into one of the buckets that you want. For example, vehicles. This, this isn't going to handle vehicles. Um, not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's go over here to a weapon shop is fine. We're going to put our name in here, Jackson. The directory is fine. I like to put an image on my... Um, items uh, so that when you open them in uh, Fantasy Grounds, as you'll notice in a minute, you can use them. So I'm going to export it. Everything goes great. Fabulous. I do want to navigate to it. And that pops it up over here. I'm going to copy the mod file and I'm going to put it into the Fantasy Grounds modules area. All right. Boom. It's a deal. So we're done with that. Now we go into Fantasy Grounds. All right, so here we are now inside of 
Fantasy Grounds. We have our average Joe character, which I explained in the previous video. He is just an imported guy from GURPS character assistant without any changes whatsoever. There's not even any skills that he has or any disadvantages or anything. He's just a, as generic as can possibly be. And he has nothing in his inventory. If you go to the combat tabs, there's... I did change the bite, kick, and punch to be hand-to-hand -hand bite, kick, and punch just because I can't stand items getting inserted in between those uh, as you load them. So if you open your items, these are just some ones that I typed in manually inside of Fantasy Grounds because I'm working on trying to be able to do that for us, but that doesn't work yet. So what I'm going to do is go to my library, open the modules. Here's our weapon shop that we just created. I'm going to load it. And close that now. It's over in the items. We have all of our swords here that we entered. Um, you'll notice we also have this stuff that I typed in. I was playing around testing things. So let's say we want to have uh, the broadsword. We drag that over here into his inventory and let's give him a great sword because that sounds cool. Uh, and a long sword. Just because actually a long sword is kind of neat. It has a lot of options to it. And of course you know you have to enable these by equipping them. You go to the combat tabs, and now you have a longsword in here. And it can be used one-handed swing, one-handed thrust, uh, two-handed swing, two-handed thrust. you got to have your strengths of 10 and 9, respectively, for whether you're using it one-handed or two-handed. And um, you got your damages here. And your skill levels, again, you still have to enter those, and your, your power, you have to, to do that manually. Your other items here, of course, thrusting greatsword, thrusting broadsword. You go over here to combat, and there they are. Um, broadswords up here. That was what I was talking about. If I don't put that in there, that gets inserted in between. And then uh, you have a uh, thrusting great sword. So, all here, all ready to rock and roll. And it's as simple as that. Just go to GCA, uh, load up the store keep or the shop that you want to have or the items that you want to use in your game, and you can export it as XML, <coughs> run it through the a mod maker program and you can then uh, copy that mod open file over to the modules area of fantasy grounds and you're good to go um, that's it for now thanks happy gaming